Hello everyone, this is NAI here, and in today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to create this hexagon spiral logo in Affinity Vector Studio, formerly known as Affinity Designer. All right, so to get started, we go to Pound New and we create a new composition. And first, we make sure that snapping and snap to grid is enabled. So we're going to use a grid to create this figure. So first, we're going to set up the grid, so we go to View, Grid and Axis. We check on Show Grid to make it visible. And then we go to the Advanced tab. So we are going to need a triangular grid, which is a grid made of equilateral triangles. We are going to increase the spacing a bit to 20 millimeters. And then we can close the Grid Manager. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So we take the Pen tool. We set the fill to none. We'll leave the stroke hairs black. And we're going to set the stroke width to 0 0.1. And then first, we're going to draw an hexagon along the grid. So the hexagon must be four divisions on each of its sides, like this. And then we press on Escape to unselect. And then at its center, we're going to draw another hexagon. And the other hexagon must be two grid divisions on each of its sides, like this. And then we close the path. So make sure that it is along the grid. And then we press on Escape to unselect. We take the Move tool. We select both hexagons. And we go to the Subtract operator to remove the area of the second hexagon from the first one. So now that we have this shape, we're going to set the stroke to none. And the fill, we're going to set it to orange, like this. And then the next step is going to be to create the divisions in the logo. So in order to do that, we take the pen tool. We set the fill to none and the stroke to black. And then we set the first node here, along the inner edge of the figure, like this. And then we position the second node here, halfway of the shape. And then we position the third node here, at the outer extremity of the figure, along the grid. And then we press on Escape to unselect. We take the Move tool. So we are going to duplicate and rotate this line to create the divisions of the hexagon. We go here to Move Tool Settings. We click on Enable Transform Origin. And we position the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate. We set the number of copies to 5, as we are going to need 6 overall. And we set the rotation angle to 60 degrees, and we click on OK. So this gives us six lines, and then we select everything, and we go to the divide operator to break the hexagon along the lines. So this gives us the branches that we need. And then the last step is going to be to create the gaps between the branches, so we select everything, and we select the contour tool. Here we'll leave it as meter to preserve the sharp angles. And we're going to decrease the radius, so I will set it to minus 2. And as you can see, this creates the gaps between the branches. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create an hexagon spiral logo in Affinity Vector Studio. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!